Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. We're here in Benton Harbor, Michigan, which is celebrating Champions for Change. Champions mean a couple of things in this context. One, imagine this foursome. Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Tom Watson, and Johnny Miller. Those four guys are playing golf here today at beautiful Harbor Shores Golf Club right on the shores of Lake Michigan. The change is really economic development. The city of Benton Harbor, city of St. Joe, state officials and some private developers got together and built this beautiful new championship golf course. Come join us as we watch the four champions play a little golf. Quiet! Well, I start off with a wedge, which is an easy club to hit. When you can hit a three iron, just hit it cruddy when you first start. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, get your mind in the right frame of mind. If you go up there and you hit a three iron like this. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to hit a three iron like this. <laughs> but then if you go up there and you hit a, your first shot out of the bag is like this. And you know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Arnold, how long has it been since you've had a good day like that? How long has it been since I've had a good day like that? I haven't hit a free iron like that in 20 years. Well, and I can't even remember. <laughs> swing tip, Arnie. Well, I go pretty much from what I was taught when I was a young boy, uh, and much the same as Jack, except that I do the grip, uh, the position of the ball, the head and the, the shoulders, and uh, all the basic fundamentals. And, and I have done that every time I've played uh, whenever in my career. Uh, it's uh, redundant but it seemed to work back a few years ago. <laughs> we, we, played, we played a scramble in June, Arnold, Gary, and I, and we were very fortunate to go down in, in Bristol, Tennessee, for a mountain mission school. We were able to raise, uh, what was it? 15.1 million. Wow. For a one day of that. That broke the record by about eight for an event for about eight million. That's right. That, was, that is that exactly. That was pretty special to be involved in that. Yeah. And I was just, I was just delighted that you know they included the three of us. They could have raised probably. They didn't need us. They just raised the money. It was, uh, it was great. It was very good. And it was a pretty nice day, wouldn't you think? Yeah, of course, it was. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we had each of us played with Gary, Jack, and myself. We played uh, with three guys every hole. And uh, it worked out very well. Nineteen holes. Eight hours and twelve minutes later. <laughs> I mean, Arnold had a certain way to swing, and when he had a certain thing he had to do to finish a golf tournament, he did. Johnny, you were the same way. Tom, you've always been the same way. I was the same way. We always relied on our natural abilities rather than, than, than an artificially taught yeah. swing to finish that golf tournament. And you have to finish golf tournaments. You don't win if you don't finish golf tournaments. The one, the one big difference in the swing, if you really want to know it, is that the, the new swing is like you weld the club onto your belly and you turn it here, but you can see how the face is really, what's it doing? It's really opening and closing, right? So the timing on side hill lies and under pressure with the face, what Haney was telling, teaching tigers really get it open here and then when you come down you imagine the timing that it takes to square up that club base where jack if you watch jack swing when he was younger he'd turn that head he would take it back here real square and then he would come through and the face would never move and arnie would come down a little bit shut here and then hang on like this <laughs> And the one thing that but he hung on well. <laughs> and the one thing the reverse C did for you, if you watch the club on my belly, when you reverse C it, you see how the club is staying what? A long time. 
very square for a long time. So what happened is, is that kind of swing with Arnie keeping the face square a long time, Jack upright taking it back a little this way and then that way, and then the reverse C this way, is the face was much squarer for a longer time. Some of you guys know more, Mo Norman, right? The Canadian player, he said that he kept the face square for a yard. You know, versus this open close stuff, it's great on a flat driving range, you can hit it great. But to get on all these side hill lies, it's a little tougher, right Tom? So that's what I don't like about this swing that's really good on your back, by the way. It's really good, but a lot harder to hit it square and hit it straight with that driver. <laughs> My excuse for mulling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first hole, bunker is about 270 to carry those bunkers. Mason's going to play out to the left of them. And uh, the tighter you play to it, the better angle you're going to have in the green. <laughs> <laughs> he continues to be one of the most endearing and beloved golfers of all time, and the commander of Arnie's Arnold, Ar Arnie's Army, Mr. Arnold Palmer. In the 1976 Open Championship. He was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1996 and is currently a golf analyst on MD Sports. Let's welcome Mr. Johnny Miller. He has won eight majors in his career and almost won a number nine last year at Turnberry. <laughs> one of the most memorable Open Championships that any of us have ever seen. He won 39 times on the PGA Tour and continues to compete regularly on the Champions Tour. Regarded as arguably the best links course player of all time, Mr. Tom Watson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>